Jump Vibes is here to entertain you. It is so undoubted no more that AKA was a huge supporter of the ANC and because of this, his passing on is a huge loss for them as well. South Africans are so furious and they fume on social media as the arrival of the ANC leaders at AKA's home causes so much stare on the media. We know that AKA was a man of value and they keep asking themselves what these leaders are doing at his home. I'm here to give you all some insider revelations because right now there is so much that is ongoing. Make sure you watch this video right up to the end so that you don't miss out on the ongoing battle on the media and of course the backlashes that are going as far as AKA and ANC are concerned. Before I give you all the entire details, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel please, like this video, drop a comment and hit on to my post notification bell. Since the passing of popular musician aka on Friday night, his home has been a host to many prominent figures. Some people have cut the journey short by sending their messages of support to the bereaved families who lost their members tragically. Officials from the African National Congress were as well spotted on a video entering the home of the slain AKA. However, the reactions from the public shows that they are not impressed with the visits from our leaders. They questioned why the leaders are going there. They didn't expect this and of course they don't want any further controversy as far as AKA's situation is concerned because if they really can't assist him in tracking or assist his family in tracking the culprits who actually claimed the life of AKA then they are going there is practically very much irrelevant according to public opinion. Yes, SABC journalist Mbalele Mtentwa shared a video indicating that the top officials are at AKA's home. Transport Minister Fikile Mbalula, Gauteng Premier Penyaza Lesufi and ANC Gauteng Provincial Secretary Tiken Caesar have arrived at AKA's home, she says. Some people blame the government for the compromised security that South Africans find themselves living in. They as well didn't end there. Prior to this, they claim that if the government officials did their job instead of looking after themselves, then they might live in a safer country. Our beautiful country is slowly being allowed to become a war zone, says so many people. In the past few weeks, several lives have been lost already because of the unresolved shootings that occur randomly. The officials had a vehicle from the Gauteng Traffic Department escorting them. But is this the case for each and every South African out there? When things are being done, they should definitely consider that they are so much more regular people than the top people or should I say the influential people. I feel so bad when I see everything that is ongoing already. Inasmuch as AKA was highly loved by so many people but still his life was still claimed in such a manner, then what more of the regular people who really don't have so much to offer as far as the general public consumption is concerned? Top officials like AKA, top celebrities like AKA are not supposed to go depart from this world in such a manner. I mean, AKA has impacted so much in promoting the South African culture. What is so shocking is the fact that when did you somebody departed from this world? There's actually this controversy that was all over social media as some top government officials actually went as far as revealing that the Minister of Police Bekingwele needs to reinforce much more the security system. But look at what has happened to this again. Top celebrity aka is no more. I feel so bad right now.